Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of DiveSoft TV. I'm your host, Joe Bosques. This week we're going to be talking about gas analysis and labeling your cylinders. So let's dive in. So today I have my solo analyzer. I also have my analyzer or my SIP Blender Max kit here with me as well. But today we're going to be using our solo analyzer for analyzing our gas mix. The first step in analyzing our gases is that we need to calibrate our oxygen sensor. So the way that we're going to calibrate our so oxygen sensor or our solo is going to be with a single point calibration. So the way that we do a single point calibration is straight with air. So we'll go in. We have our solo. You can hear it clicking. She's nice and awake. We go into the cal button and there we have our single point calibration. And so I have my air cylinder right here. And then you can see that I'm using my pro flow limiter. We also have our simple flow limiter, but today we're going to use the professional flow limiter right here because it's a great tool and I love using it. So we're going to plug in our tube for that single point calibration. Remember that all of the um, flow limiters and the tubes and the analyzers, they're all designed to work together. So we have our single point calibration. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the valve up right here. I've got good flow. And then I click single point calibration. Now remember, it's important that we, we set the percentage of our mix of our air. We don't wanna lower it to 20.9. We want it to be at 21.0. When the solo says air, that's, when we, that's what we wanna hit. So we click okay. So we have the gas flowing, we can see the millivolts, and then once we wait for the clock to count down and for the sensor to stabilize, that's when we know that we're calibrated. Then we click OK. All right. Then I'm going to shut down the air bottle, lead the line. Next, today what we're going to do is we're going to analyze a, a nitrox mix that was topped off with air. So it's gonna be somewhere between a 32 to a 21% mix. It's really important when we have kind of these top offs with air or top off with another mix that we, just like always, we always wanna analyze our gas and we wanna label our cylinders, especially when they could be some kind of in between mix. So it's very, very important that we always label our cylinders and we always analyze our gases. Now we have our nitrox cylinder here. So what are we going to put on our label? What's important to know on our cylinders, on our gas mixes? So what I like to do is I like to put little reminders and little cheat sheets for anyone that's using my analyzers. So you can see here on the back, I have the date. I have the oxygen or helium concentration. I have my initials and I have the pressure of the cylinder if that's possible. But most importantly, I put the maximum operating depth. Now remember, for our dive plans, we want to put a maximum operating depth of a PO2 of 1.4. Now, typically at a resting or in decompression, a 1.6 is acceptable, usually shallower depths. It's important for uh, the cylinder to always say what the maximum operating depth is so that you don't go below it. Now, we have our cylinder right here. So I'm going to screw in the pro flow limiter. Our analyzer has been calibrated with air. I've disabled the clicking so that it's, so you guys can hear me nice and clearly. So I'm going to disable that. And just a little tip is that you can disable it by pushing the okay button. Now, once I plug the tube back in, I haven't opened the cylinder yet. What I want to do is I want to resume the clicking. So I click okay. So now it'll change as the gas flows. And then I open the valve nice and slowly. Now, remember the solo works with, you have the oxygen sensor and the helium sensor. Now the helium sensor is, works based off of the flow. Now there isn't any helium sensor, in, uh, helium in the mix. So we're working off of the oxygen sensor, but the gas still has to flow through the labyrinth at an acceptable speed. So then at this point, typically what was very nice to use is that if we have a tape that's already has all the spaces set for labeling your mixes or if you don't have that tape you can take we have like good painters tape right here 
And just like I put on the back of my uh, analyzer is that I want to put the MOD, I want to put the percentage of the FO2, or, and then I want to put my initials and then the date. And then if I can, I'll put the cylinder pressure as well. What's really great about the Solo Analyzer is that we have different screens within the analyzer, the other analyzer as well. But we can see, we have a main screen that will tell us EAN of 26.3, and it will tell us the maximum operating depth based off of the PO2 that I set on the analyzer. So we can see here at a 26.3 mix, we have a PPO2 of 1.6, our maximum operating depth is 165 feet. And then we have the date and the time. So we can have all that information for our labeling to uh, put on the gas cylinder right now. So I'll put the MOD of 165 feet. And then I'll put the FO2 26.3 in this case. So how many decimal places? Usually you wanna just do it one decimal place. Put my initials so we know who analyzed it. Put the pressure if we know it. In this case, I don't have a gauge, so I'm not really sure. I'll have to check that and add that later. And then I put today's date. Now, where do I put that on the cylinder? I wanna put it in a very visible location. Usually I wanna put it just adjacent to the valve. Cut the painter's tape, and then I apply it to the cylinder, and there we go. It's all it takes for just a simple gas analysis and labeling of your cylinder. Now we know what's in the cyl cylinder. Now we can make sure that we're using the right gas for the right dive. And if you guys have any other questions, be sure to join us on our other social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Be sure to check us out there, jump into the comments, be sure to like and share these videos. You can also send us an email or write us. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time.